the only tillage that we've done is uh, a, an implement called the fur runner plow. And Johnny Hunter, one of our neighbors up in Missouri, developed this plow, got a patent on it. Uh, Perkins Sales and Service in Bernie, Missouri sells this, has exclusive rights. But basically it's just got a double disc opener that parts the, the cover crop, has a little shovel plow to clean that out in a, in a packing wheel to kind of give us a little trench. But, but a lot of people feel like, well, I furrow irrigate, I just can't get the water down the middle. So, so they've gone in and they've done, they've done some modifications on this and kind of made their own design, something that moves a little dirt. So, so we can run this, we can, you know, today we were run, running it kind of ahead of an irrigation. But, you know, after we harvest the cotton, if we have some splat, flat spots in the field, because here we get most of our rain in the wintertime. So it's important to get the water off the field in the off season. So then when we get to planting or if we have a cover crop out there that, you know, like cereal rye and there's some others that, that don't take wet feet really well as well as some others so that, that we can minimize the, the impact of having too much, you know, excessive moisture out there. And so sometimes we run it in the fall, sometimes we run it in the spring before we plant, sometimes we run it after we plant. So there's, depending on your situation and what your needs are in the field, there are a lot of different timings that, that one could run that plow. Sure. But that does open the door for a lot of issues that some people have when they're thinking about getting into cover crops. Yeah. Yeah, and so I, I look at that furrow runner plow as kind of like uh, cleaning out the gutters of the house instead yeah. of tearing the house down. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we, need that. we need a little extra help getting, getting the water down the rows, getting yeah. the water off the field. We've already built the house. We've got structure, so we're not too worried about our beds not being there. We just need a little gutter clean out every yeah. every once in a while. That's a great analogy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to borrow that from you. <laughs> you. You got my permission. <laughs> Matt, you, you've done a lot of measurements on this soil, but our water infiltration rates on a sit loam soil are, what, half an inch an hour? About half an inch an hour is kind of <laughs> average. And so <clears throat> basically we have no internal drainage. So when we get a two inch rain, it all runs off basically. It all runs then. off. Yeah. yeah. And so because of that, grow cotton we have to have a really tall bed because we have no internal drainage so we need all the external drainage we can get don't we yeah and what we've seen is when we go into a no-till situation with a cover crop we greatly improve water infiltration but if we're run if we're for irrigating running down the row uh, after a while even if we start with a good bed our beds get flat after a while about in that third year third or fourth year beds get really really flat sure and so Johnny Hunter, in his situation, he calls it almost no till because that's the only tillage operation he does is that double disc opener and a little shovel plow to kind of clean out that little trench. That's the only tillage operation he does. And for a lot of our plots and, and here at Joe's, that's the only tillage that we've done here. Yeah, so that trench is, you know, maybe half inch. Yeah, just most. <clears throat> and, you know, most time if we're in heavy cover, it just kind of parts the cover, makes a trench, and we do that without seeing any bare soil. This morning we're where our timing's not perfect on that. A lot of our cover crop has, has uh, basically melted or disintegrated. Sure. And uh, so we're gonna see a little bit more bare soil than what I like to see. But it makes a little trench, because when we have really good internal drainage, it doesn't take much external drainage to get a big heavy rain off sure. the field, especially move from our low spots to our, our water drain furrows and, and so forth. <laughs>